स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया solve some problems together so here's problem 1 so consider the matrices e equals 1 0 0 one. i equals 0 minus 1 1 j equals Zero i i zero and k equals minus i zero zero i. And the problem is show that q equals plus or minus e plus or minus i plus or minus j plus or minus k is a group. under matrix multiplication okay at this point i would urge you all to pause your video and think about this problem and try to solve it yourself if you are unable to solve it yourself then you can get some hints from what i'm going to do now So what is it that we need to check to establish that Q is a group? So firstly for a group we need to know that we have a binary operation. So we need to check that multiplication of matrices is a binary operation. from q cross q to q so we need to check that if you take any two matrices in q and multiply them you once again get a matrix in q okay so firstly note that if a belongs to q then minus a belongs to q so also if you have minus a into b this is minus ab a into minus b is also minus ab and minus a into minus b is ab so we don't have to worry about signs it is enough to check that uh if you multiply any two of e i j and k results in an element of q because if you take Uh, the negative of any of these and multiply it with possibly the negative of another of these you will still get uh, at most an element of q or the negative of an element of q so let's just uh, look at these elements and uh, figure out what their products is so we'll make a little table here uh, we'll have uh, x and y and we'll make a table of x times y and what can x and y be e i j k e i j k so here we are looking at e into e that's well e i into e is i e is just the identity matrix right remember e is the identity matrix j into e is i k into e is i and similarly here we have i j k Now what about i into i? 
remember i was the matrix 0 minus 1 1 0 so i into i is 0 minus 1 1 0 into 0 minus 1 1 0 and this turns out to be by matrix multiplication minus e okay i will not do these explicitly but you can easily also check that j into j is minus e and k into k is minus e now what about i into j so what was i is 0 minus 1 1 0 and what was j well j was the matrix 0 i i 0 and this is um, you can check minus i 0 0 i so that's k so i into j is k and similarly you can check that j into k is i i will not do it explicitly for you and k into i is j and likewise you can check that uh, j into i is minus k whoops I'm sorry j into i is minus k j into k is i and k into j is minus i and i into k is minus j so this is the multiplication table for the elements e i j and k and from this it follows that q is closed under multiplication okay now what are the other axioms we have the axiom of the identity so e is the identity of q because it's the identity matrix is the identity of multiplication okay and multiplication is associative because matrix multiplication is associative so we don't need to check it again oops matrix multiplication is associative so q has an associative product what else do we need to check we need to check the axiom of the inverse so what about inverses so from this table we can figure out various inverses so um, let's just write down the inverses of e inverse well that's just e okay what about i inverse now notice that i into i is minus i so i into minus i is going to be e so this is minus i similarly j into j is minus e so j into minus j is going to be e so j inverse is minus j k inverse is minus k and if you have um, negative then the negative of i inverse is i so these are mutually inverse pairs and so this makes sure that each element of q has an inverse and hence we can conclude that q is a group q satisfies all the group axioms these uh, multiplications j k equals i k i equals j and j i equals k J, J, K, K. 
uh, ij equals k these must look familiar to you these are the relations for quaternions so this group q is called the quaternion group Let's move on to problem 2. What are the orders? of the elements of q let me remind you that q is the group consisting of eight elements plus or minus e plus or minus i plus or minus j plus or minus k and uh, i let you think about this yourself so pause your video and try to solve this yourself and if you cannot then go ahead and watch me solve it okay so we need to figure out the orders of the elements of q there are eight elements uh let's just figure it out so what about the element e well e is itself the identity so order is 1 okay now let's look at the element i okay so then i squared is minus e i cubed is minus i i to the 4 is 1 so i has order 4 what about minus i well minus i squared is also minus e minus i cubed is i and minus of minus i and minus i to the power 4 is 1 so minus i has order 4 exactly the same reasoning holds for j because j squared is also minus e remember we computed this earlier j into j is minus e k into k is also minus e plus or minus j plus or minus k also have order 4 and that only leaves the element minus e well minus e squared is e so minus e has order 2 so after this we can make a table of the elements of e and their orders So e has order one, minus e has order two, plus or minus i, plus or minus j, plus or minus k. All these elements have order four. So our group has uh, six elements of order four, one element of order two, and one element of order one. Problem three. what are the conjugacy classes in q okay and uh, just to make this easier for you let me remind you of a calculation we did earlier this is the product of the elements i j k and e in q you can pause your video now and try to solve this problem and if you are unable to solve it well you can come back and watch me solve it for you okay so let's solve this problem so firstly let's take the element e what is the conjugacy class of e so i want to know what is um, if i have an element x in the group q x e x inverse well i know that e Uh, commutes with all the elements of the group Q, so this is x, x inverse E. E is just the identity matrix, so it's in fact just x inverse. But that's just 
x x inverse e by associative with e and so that's just e because x into x inverse is e and e into e is also e so no matter what x you take x e x inverse is e so e is a conjugacy class singleton e is a conjugacy class Okay, the same works with minus e, x minus e, x inverse. Minus e is the negative of the identity matrix. It commutes with all other matrices under matrix multiplication. So this is the same as x, x inverse minus e. And you're going to show that it's equal to minus e. So minus e is also a conjugacy class, a singleton conjugacy class. Okay, now let's think about i. So I want to know what happens if I conjugate i by various elements. So now if I take e i e inverse, well that's just uh, e uh, is the identity element, so this is just going to be i. So there's not much use trying to conjugate by e. Let's just worry about what happens when we do j i j inverse minus j i minus j inverse and so on. So let's look at j i j inverse is equal to what okay so for this uh, it's uh, convenient to use the following identity which we can observe from this table j i is equal to minus i j and then you multiply both sides by the matrix j inverse you get j i j inverse is equal to minus i so j i j inverse is equal to minus i. So certainly minus i is in the conjugacy class of j. What about j k j inverse? Not j k j inverse. What I mean is what about k i k inverse? k i k inverse. Well, with the same kind of reasoning, you would have k i is equal to minus i k. And so k i k inverse is equal to minus i. So this is also minus i. And what if you do uh, instead of j, you take minus j. Minus j i minus j inverse. Well, minus j is minus of j, and minus j inverse is minus is 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 j inverse, the negative of j inverse. So this is again going to be minus i. And similarly, minus k i minus k inverse is minus i. So what we have is that i and minus i is a conjugacy class. Similarly, j comma minus j is a conjugacy class. Just follow the similar kind of reasonings and k comma minus k is a conjugacy class so final answer the conjugacy classes of q are e minus e plus or minus i plus or minus j and plus or minus k problem four what are the subgroups of q okay once again i urge you to pause your video and try to solve this problem yourself if you cannot solve it, then you can come back and watch me solve it. Okay, so we need to figure out what the subgroups are, or subgroups of Q are. Now, there's always, so remember, Q has eight elements, plus or minus E, plus or minus I, plus or minus J, plus or minus K. And uh, in any group, there's always one subgroup, which is the trivial group. So E is self is a subgroup. 
Why? Well, it's a subset of Q. Uh, it's closed under multiplication. E times E is E. And it's closed under inverse. And the identity is also in it. Okay, so E is a subgroup of Q. And you can also look at plus or minus E because uh, minus E into minus E is plus E. So this is again closed under multiplication. And uh, minus E inverse is again minus E. So this is also a subgroup. Okay, what other subgroups do we have? So uh, suppose a subgroup contains the element I. Okay, if S is a subgroup and I belongs to S then surely i squared belongs to s and i cubed belongs to s i cubed is minus i so then minus i belongs to s because minus i is i cubed now you look at this elements e i minus e minus i so this minus e is i squared and uh, minus i is i cubed and then you multiply again by i, you will get back e. So this is again a subgroup. Similarly, you have e, j, minus e, minus j is a subgroup. And e, k, minus e, minus k is a subgroup. So we have these three subgroups of order 4 uh, corresponding to the elements i, j and k of the quaternions. Now suppose S is a subgroup which contains i and j. Then recall that i, j is equal to k, so k belongs to S. And uh, minus i obviously belongs to s because that's i cubed. Minus j belongs to s because it's j cubed. Uh, minus k belongs to s because it's k cubed. And of course, e belongs to s and minus e belongs to s. So this implies that s is all of q. So And similarly, if a subgroup contains um, i and k or j and k or i and minus j, any such combination, it will be q. So these are all the subgroups of Q. I like to show this in a somewhat uh, visual form. So we have the smallest subgroup which we will write at the bottom here E and then we have above that the subgroup plus or minus E of order 2 and then above that we have three subgroups E I minus I uh, minus E minus i e j minus e minus j and e k minus e minus k and then we have the largest subgroup of q which is all of q itself and these edges here denote that you know this is contained in q this is contained here also. so these are the subgroups of q Q has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 subgroups including the trivial group and Q itself.